This is a story of two paintings inspired by lockdown. Although I'm lucky enough to have open countryside on my doorstep, during lockdown it was hard not being able to go down to the beach as I was used to doing most days. Of all the lovely seaside places nearby, Alnuth has to be my favourite. I missed it. Working on my painting Almuth Kaleidoscope was my way of still going there. The village and shoreline have many colourful features and I wanted to include as many as I could. It is a detailed piece, time after all wasn't an issue. From a centre point of sun and sea, I spun my design outwards to incorporate everything that makes the place special to me. There was plenty to keep me occupied not least painting the 52 carriage windows of the trains which regularly speed past the village and from which, looking out of one many years back, I determined I would make the county my home, the best place in lockdown one could be. What to do on finishing my Almuth kaleidoscope picture? Start another painting? This time simply entitled Lockdown, my work is based on the tiny village where I live. As a mini community, we held a distant celebration for VE Day. Flags, bunting and tea and cakes by our roadside gateposts. My new neighbour living directly opposite also placed a random doll in her window. Once the decorations came down, the doll remained, perhaps forgotten. On impulse, some days later, I put a doll in my own window, raising her plastic hand in a wave. Next day, the doll opposite was waving back. My lockdown picture features these same windows. In the painted ones opposite, the dolls have increased in number and have become international in nature, each in their separate window pane. My single doll remains, as perplexed as those opposite. Despite the hopeful rainbow sticker below, she has no choice but to confront the worldwide isolation that we were then and many still are, all in together.